few other spots where Westown is quite unique. Um, Teacher Jake and I have mentioned a couple of times now about our farm, right? So we have a 200 acre working farm on campus and that farm um, grows produce that we use in the dining hall. There is a local produce stand that the local community um, can purchase produce. And we also have enough of a surplus through the campus farm that we donate to the local food bank as well. Um, and then we also have a one acre student run farm where if you want to really be involved with farming and even possibly year round, you can do that because we have a greenhouse as well. The other spot that is important for us to talk about today is the Quaker Meeting House. So we have a meeting house on campus. Our entire upper school community comes together once a week in our meeting house in what's called Meeting for Worship. So on Thursdays around 11 o'clock in the morning, all upper school students, faculty and staff gather in the meeting house for Meeting for Worship. And we spend about 40 minutes in silent reflection um, and it's a nice way, I always like to describe it as, it's a nice way to take a break. Um, I almost think about it as meditation. There is no central person speaking at you and sharing information. It's a nice space to just reflect and take a break. In the meeting house, we, we, we welcome all religions as well as, as atheists, agnostics. Every view is welcomed and supported in the Quaker meeting house. So friends, any questions? I always think it's important to share some information on Meeting for Worship. Do you have any questions about Meeting for Worship or Quakerism at Westtown? Teacher Jake? Alrighty, so as we mentioned earlier, we have a numerous amount of clubs here at Westtown. And at our last count, we believe there are 57 club options here. Now, why have so many? Because every single person here is a unique individual with their own individual gifts and talents. So there's a numerous amount of clubs for you to find what was something that you are very passionate about. And it is a healthy and a fun vibrant community that you will join in your club. Everyone in your club shares the same interest and it's just a fun place to meet with people that are thinking like-minded like you. And within your clubs as well, there's leadership opportunities in them as well. And that can start at, from your first year here and that opportunity is available through you from ninth to 12th grade to take uh, Take, take a leadership opportunity in your club. Uh, some examples of our clubs that we have here, uh, just broad in terms, we have our STEM clubs, ranging from your, your science, technology, engineering, math. Uh, we also have social action uh, clubs, as well as political action clubs and affinity groups. There's uh, literacy clubs, anything that you can think of. There's, there's more than likely a, a group here that has started a club for it and they're they're a, a very fun time to meet with a lot of very fun people that share the same hobby as you. Very good. Dorms, right? We have to talk about dorm life. Um, always really important. So friends at Westtown, although we are both a day and a boarding school for upper school, most of our students board. So we have a very vibrant boarding community. And what this looks like is for your ninth grade year. So coming in, um, the Balderston House is a beautiful building for our predominantly ninth grade and some of our new 10th uh, grade girls or those who identify as female. We have the Gerster House, which is for ninth grade boys or those who identify as male, right? And some of our new to Westtown 10th graders. And then for your upper class years, so sometimes starting in 10th, but definitely for 11th and 12th grade, um, you would be in what's called the main building. East End is the boys or those who identify as male and West End is the girls or those who identify as female. What's amazing about our main building is there are two floors of boarding, so top two floors are boarding. And then the main floor has many classrooms. It has the dining hall, it has the library, it has um, some faculty offices in it. So our main building is really the hub of community at West Town, right? You have to work hard, play hard, yes? Um, so again, most of our students board at Westtown. So we have a very vibrant boarding community. And with that, that means we have a lot of fun on the weekends and we also have purposeful activities built in there. So the weekend boards post each week and you are welcome to sign up for many different events if you want to, or no events if you just wanna take a break and do something different for the weekend, it is up to you. 
But weekend activities run anywhere from pure fun, dodgeball in the gym, right? To trips to local shopping areas, to uh, tutoring time and learning center time, if that's something that's appealing to you. So weekends really run the gamut, um, but we want you to have a lot of fun while you're at West Town. All right, so let's talk a little bit specifically about international student support. Teacher Jake, do you wanna do you wanna take this slide? Yes. So, our, as international students here at West Town, you will have the utmost support from all staff, faculty, as well as your fellow students here. Uh, here at West Town, we have fall orientation for new students coming in, as well as uh, numerous retreats throughout the year uh, for our host family programs, we have special celebrations. And here at West Town, it is just about embracing all our students here and the many backgrounds, the cultures that they bring to our community here. It really builds us up to be one cohesive unit of just a happy community that is supportive of everyone that is in, in it.